of a personal email system during her time as Secretary of State. After a tremendous amount of work over the last year, the FBI is completing its investigation and referring the matter to the Department of Justice for a prosecutive decision. What I want to do today is three things. I want to tell you what we did, I want to tell you what we found, and I want to tell you what we're recommending to the Department of Justice. This is going to be an unusual statement in at least a couple of ways. First, I'm going to include more detail about our process than I ordinarily would, because I think the American people deserve those details in a case of intense public interest. And second, I have not coordinated this statement or reviewed it in any way with the Department of Justice or any other part of the government. They do not know what I'm about to say. But I want to start by thanking the FBI employees who did remarkable work in this case. Once you have a better sense of how much we have done, you will understand why I am so grateful and so proud of their work. So first, what we have done. This investigation began as a referral from the Intelligence Community Inspector General in connection with Secretary Clinton's use of a personal email server during her time as Secretary of State. The referral focused on whether classified information was transmitted on that personal system. Our investigation looked at whether there is evidence that classified information was improperly stored or transmitted on that personal system in violation of a federal statute that makes it a felony to mishandle classified information either intentionally or in a grossly negligent way, or a second statute making it a misdemeanor to knowingly remove classified information from appropriate systems or storage facilities. And consistent with our counterintelligence responsibilities, we have also investigated to determine if there is evidence of computer intrusion by nation states or by hostile actors of any kind. Now, I have so far used the singular term email server in describing the referral that began our investigation. It turns out to have been more complicated than that. Secretary Clinton used several different servers and administrators of those servers during her four years at the State Department. And she also used numerous mobile devices to send and to read email on that personal domain. As new servers and equipment were employed, older servers were taken out of service, stored, and decommissioned in various ways. Piecing all of that back together, to gain as full an understanding as possible of the ways in which personal email was used for government work has been a painstaking undertaking requiring thousands of hours of effort. For example, when one of Secretary Clinton's servers was decommissioned in 2013, the email software was removed. That didn't remove the email content, but it was like removing the frame from a huge unfinished jigsaw puzzle and then dumping all the pieces on the floor. The effect was that millions of email fragments ended up in the server's unused or slack space. We searched through all of it to understand what was there and what parts of the puzzle we could put back together again. FBI investigators also read all of the approximately 30,000 emails that Secretary Clinton provided to the State Department in 2014 where an email was assessed as possibly containing classified information, the FBI referred that email to any government agency that might be an owner of that information, so that agency could make a determination as to whether the email contained classified information at the time it was sent or received, or whether there was reason to classify it now, even if the content had not been classified when it was first sent or received. And that's the process sometimes referred to as up-classifying. From the group of 30,000 emails returned to the State Department in 2014, 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. Eight of those chains contained information that was top secret at the time they were sent. 36 of those chains contained secret information at the time and eight contained confidential information at the time. That's the lowest level of classification. Separate from those, about 2,000 additional emails were up-classified to make them confidential. Those emails had not been classified at the time that they were sent or received. The FBI also